Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say in this video is just my opinion and you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. Also, I'm doing a ton of giveaways on my Twitter. I give away crypto, NFTs, and whitelist spots. So if you wanna to qualify to win those, follow me on my Twitter, link in the description down below. So first on our list is a project that one of my patrons put me on. So big shout out to WeaponX777. There is really no information available yet for this project. They don't have a detailed website or a roadmap. However, I'm really digging the art so far. So it's called Azuki and the founder is the character art director at Overwatch. Now the art style for this project does remind me a lot of One Force. It does remind me a lot of something like the Sevens. However, seeing this trailer, I get a lot of, I don't know, Akira movie vibes from it. So when I saw this, I knew it was something I wanted to talk about. I feel that creatively speaking, this project does have a lot of potential, especially since the founder has industry experience creating different characters. Now, as I said, their website is very bare bones. There are no details other than the founder's profile. However, I really like how they link you to their different social media. When you hover over these letters, you see their characters. It's very clean. It's very professional. So this is definitely something I'm going to be keeping an eye out for. Hopefully in the next week or two, they do have an announcement on what this project is about. Maybe they drop a roadmap because they have said they are launching winter 2021. So there is less than a month before this project goes live. So for the time being, I am excited about it. I will be trying to get whitelist for which no information has been released yet. But if they do do an announcement and I like what I'm seeing, I'll cover it in more detail. Next on our list is Disto Apes. Now just like Azuki, there is not a detailed roadmap. There is no website. However, I have been hearing a ton of good things about this project. I really like the art style. I really love this art piece with the whole banana empire. The NFTs as well, they are very detailed. I assume this is a more common one. And if we scroll down, we get some more rare ones or uncommon ones. I also really like their legendary pieces and not all of them are gonna be in the auction. Lately, it really bothers me that 100% of the pixel projects are putting their legendary NFTs in the auction and it kind of takes the fun out of minting because you know there's a 0% chance that you're gonna get a legendary NFT. So I really like that they're putting some of them in the minting process. I don't know how many yet, but it, at least it keeps the fun in minting because you might get lucky and you might get a legendary nft so there will be 4444 genesis disto apes and there will be 10 legendaries they will have a scrap utility token that will be available on launch they also mentioned that if you hold multiple apes you will reap great rewards at the end of each month and it does seem like the rarer your ape the more scrap tokens you can earn unless that is something specifically for the legendary apes only now most of the team is docs they either give you their full name a picture of themselves their social media or their work background their Discord numbers are really good. They're currently at 6,000 members all organically, no invite games. And every single time I've checked their Discord, they have a minimum of 30% of users who are online. Now you can still get whitelist. There's a few ways, as I said, no invite games. You could either be active in their Discord. You could win some of their giveaways that they host every 12 hours. You could join some of their events or they can handpick you if they think that you're cool. So as they release their website, as they release their roadmap, I will cover this project in more detail. However, for the time being, I am a fan of what they're putting out. Next, I wanted to quickly talk about px mythics now i covered them before but i'm actually really hyped about this project now the discord is unfortunately locked however they did host an ama last night and they mentioned the possibility of opening a portion of the discord to the public but still limiting how many people can get in depending if the server can handle it or not and from there they're going to have a series of quizzes where you can move through different channels and the first 20 to 25 people who solve the quiz will get in the discord and will get whitelisted now they also spoke about things like secret airdrops they got asked a ton of questions on if they're going to have a game and I assume that's due to posts like this one, as well as this one that looks like a pixel version of Super Smash Bros or something. It actually reminds me a lot of Splatters. And that'd be really cool if they did some sort of collab and ported their characters inside the upcoming Splatters game. But for the time being, they said while having a game is a dream of theirs, it is not in their current plans. Now, they also briefly mentioned partnerships as well as the metaverse. While they didn't say who the partnerships are with, I did find it curious that at the same time of partnerships, they mentioned the metaverse. And if you look here, they did give away 10 whitelist spots with Nano pass which in my mind is a blue chip project so if you are not whitelisted in that project i would definitely recommend trying your best to do it however if they can make some sort of deal with nano pass that they're going to turn their characters into 3d avatars the same way that skull punks hideout did and then one day be in nano pass's nanoverse that would be amazing for this project so i really love the art that this team is putting out i really love how the pieces look and the amount of detail that they're putting into their work they are very high quality and there's a lot of different variety in every single one of these pieces they also 
spoke about their plans to reward their holders. So they will have a snapshot for their mysterious orb. So if you didn't mint one, you're still going to be able to buy off secondary and take part in their mysterious orb airdrop. And they said there's going to be nine different types of orbs as well as three legendary orbs. They will have properties and they will be tradable on the open market. So whitelist for this project is not over. There's still over a hundred spots in their discord that are left. So I would definitely check that out because this is another project that gives me a really good feeling and I do think it will do very well. Next, I wanted to talk about Trippy Sushi. Now this is the first project on the Nifty Base launchpad, which is a launchpad that provides smart contracts, reveal functions, payment splitters, art consultants, marketing, or anything a newcomer would need to launch their own project. So the first few projects will be curated. However, their goal after that is to be like the Shopify of NFTs. So if your dream is to start your own NFT project, but you don't have all of the capabilities, you could go on their website and then use their tools to launch your project. However, one of the reasons I am talking about this project, if you go to their Discord, you click on guide, you'll find this web link, which will take you to this screen where you could create your own character. And then you're going to be taken to this game that they created. And the whole point of the game is to get to the island. And then if you do get to the island, you could take a screenshot of yourself, post it in their Discord along with your wallet, and then you will get whitelist for this project. Now, at first I was kind of sketched out until I saw the quality of the game and the time that they took to develop it. And it was actually fun. It's actually enjoyable to go through this. Now this project is not a game, it was just an experiment. But like I told Ping, who was one of the teammates for this project, who's waiting for you when you get to the island. It shows you the capabilities of their team and the amount of effort that they're willing to put into their project. So the Trippy Sushi NFT will give you early access to whitelists for projects launching on the Nifty Base launchpad. It will give you airdrops as well as other benefits. So check out the platform. If you like it, check out the game to get whitelisted. And once you beat the game, you have to take a screenshot of yourself on the island and then post it in their finish line channel along with your wallet. Now just some random thoughts. Now a question I got a lot is did I purchase a Clonex? To which the answer is no. Now I do love this project a lot and I do want to be part of it eventually. I had the ETH ready to go. I do think it will do very well and I realized I didn't want to be holding on to another two to three ETH NFT that I'm not going to want to sell and I'm going to be throwing away a ton of my liquidity. Sometimes I have to remind myself the reason I'm here and that's to make money. So I would rather buy NFTs that are going to help me do that and still have liquidity to take opportunities when I see them. So I ended up buying a baby kaiju, a failed experiment. I will buy a baby anonymous. And after all that, I'm still going to have ETH left over to purchase more NFTs. I feel like the value I'm going to get from these communities in terms of both the people I meet, as well as the alpha I'm going to get from the different servers is going to be better than simply holding an NFT that I love. And they'll actually help me be able to afford a clone X because two ETH is a lot of money. I also like the failed experiments. I was debating getting one when the price was at 0.4. However, I held back because there's still 1,500 left to be minted. So I figured the price would drop. It has, and I got in at 0.29. It can still go down from here, but I didn't care. I just wanted one. And from the baby kaiju alone, I've already got a ton of alpha from their discord. So I'm really happy with my purchase. And like I said, my next purchase is a baby anonymous, which is going to give me access to their discord. And I have heard a ton of great things about their community. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification. Thank you for watching the crypto gorilla. Peace.